Today we're going to be taking a close look at Pix4D Catch's latest software update and integrating it with the Inlet Reach RX GNSS receiver. We'll be going over what's new with the software update as well as going over the new augmented reality features allowing us to bring digital assets into the real world. This is so exciting, I can't wait to show it to you guys. Now first and foremost, the new sleek handle design for the RX to be integrated with your iPhone it looks incredible. All you have to do is screw in your RX or any GNSS receiver, honestly, and using the SP Quick Connect case, attaching your iPhone and having it locked into place so that it's just one system that you can do your mapping project with. Now I've surveyed the city center many times before and one of the times I did it, I used a Mavic 3 Enterprise, meaning I have a point cloud data set of this entire complex, except that there's just one problem with that data set. You see this? All of this? Yeah, none of that was there. You see, all of this is new construction and using the new Pix4D Catch app with the Inlet RX GNSS receiver for RTK corrections is gonna allow me to scan this new construction and add it into my master data set on Pix4D Cloud. All right, so I've launched the Pix4D Catch app. I'm gonna power on my Inlet Reach RX. And quickly, as soon as it powers on, I'm going to switch over to RTK via Bluetooth. Now here it's going to be searching for my receiver. Uh, eventually it will pop up. It doesn't take very long. There it is, RX. Cool, so that's connected. So I've got my state plane coordinates set up. I'll be measuring everything and projecting it into NAD83, Michigan South, using international feet. Now I'm going to be connecting to the Ntrip Cores network here in Michigan. Every state, country has its own system. So here in Michigan, um, I've gone over this in the past. You can check out this video in the corner. But basically, this is the IP address, the port number, and my credentials to log in. So everything looks good here. I'm gonna hit connect, and we're going to wait for a fixed reading. So we have float, and here we are, RTK fixed. So that didn't take very long. And now I can actually point in the direction of the new construction here and we can start collecting data. Before we start collecting data, I wanna invite you all to join our brand new surveying community on thesurveyschool.com. Here you'll find an extensive amount of resources to help enable your surveying career and elevate your knowledge to a new level. There will be full length master courses and coaching calls for your disposal, as well as PDF documentation and different CAD templates for your work. Make sure you guys click on the link in the description and I'll see all of you at the survey school. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. I'm gonna try to collect as much data as I can. You can see a live view here of what our phone is capturing. Now it's using both the LiDAR sensor and it's taking images at the same time. A wrap around here. We got some heavy equipment, so I want to make sure I don't get too close to it. The biggest priority here is maintaining our RTK reading up around looks good getting all that siding i get as much detail here in the back side very nice try to try to avoid this water up oh, i did lose my rtk Let's see if i can go back up here yep there we go all right wrapping around this side and we're gonna finish strong here all right right back where we started all right, there we go. That looks pretty nice. I can see the data set here and everything looks pretty good. So we'll be processing that later on in Pix4D Cloud. All right, let's take a look at all the data over on Pix4D Cloud. We're gonna start by looking at some data that we didn't collect in this video. It's some drone data that I collected back in February of this year. And if we take a close look at it, this right here is the ortho image of the site. You can see these are all of the buildings. There's six of them in total. And if we look in the north here, you can see this empty space right here. This is the area that I walked around with the iPhone having the Imlid Reach RX attached to it. So there was nothing there in February. So this right here is the site. As you can see, it's bare bones, it's empty. There's nothing more than just a stockpile right here. And we can see the fence going around preparing for construction. Now the benefit of just scanning this with your phone is that you don't need to coordinate an entire project. You don't need to fly your drone again, whether or not you have a drone pilot or not. Anybody can just pick up their phone, attach a GNSS receiver, 
and go scan the new site. So now what we need to do is bring in that data and I've brought it into Pix4D Matic, processed it, and then uploaded it to Pix4D Cloud. And here is how it looks like. Now, if I come over to today, June 20th, now the entire point cloud that we used with the drone is loading up but the addition which is the new building is also going to be in there and so uh, let's just see how well it fit and well there it is there's the new construction this was all captured on pix4d catch and yeah this looks really nice like it just blends right in it fits in perfectly geo referenced in the correct position of course if i were to add some ground control points i could probably get a tighter fit but probably for what we're doing here and understanding roughly where the new construction is uh, this is sufficient, you know, this was something that we were able to just bring into the cloud using RTK corrections for our trajectories and giving us a fairly accurate model. So yeah, now the point cloud is updated and the nice thing on Pix4D Catch is that I can actually compare two different timelines. So one, which would be February 5th, and then today, which is June 20th. So the way we do that, we come up to the top here and I click on compare and the point cloud is loaded in here and I can just slide this and you can see the new construction just coming in seamlessly. So this is pretty cool. I can actually see before and after, and this is referencing the same drone point cloud. So I don't have to fly the entire site again. I can just walk around my phone, process in the cloud or in Pix4D Matic, and then compare it to uh, what I had before. And like I said, this is on the cloud. So you don't even have to have any of the Pix4D softwares downloaded. You can just pull it from the cloud and view it on any computer. So that's pretty neat. I like that. I like how I can just bring in data sets for new construction or maybe areas I might have missed with my iPhone and just add it into the master point cloud that we may have collected with our drone. Now, I wanted to talk about the augmented reality features that are now being incorporated into Pix4D Catch. You can bring in a DXF file or an IFC file and embed it into your project on Pix4D Cloud and then send all that information to your phone in order to see it in augmented reality on Pix4D Catch. So let me show you the process of uploading data and how it looks. Now, since I'm a surveyor, I do a lot of utility work and I figured it would be wise to see if we can get the utility plans for this town center complex in order to identify what kind of manholes we're looking at, whether they're storm manholes, sewer manholes, water mains, and understanding where the pipes are underground based off of the engineering design plans. So I went online and I was able to find these plans for this exact site. I then referenced that information into AutoCAD Civil 3D, extracted some data, and here's what I've got. So I'm in AutoCAD Civil 3D now, and I'm going to thaw out actually what was the engineering plans. So you can see them in the background. It's kind of cool. I was able to overlay them. Um, there was two plans. One of them had the storm and the water, and then the other one had the sanitary. So yeah, all that information is there. I'm able to look at it. It's pretty close to where we identified this information at. And then this ortho image here is the drone's ortho image. As you can see, that building that we mapped out earlier today is not there because, well, it didn't exist yet. But all the utility information has been added and I can see a nice full picture of all of the work that we did. But all of the utility plans have been added now and we can kind of see where everything fits in. So I want to export this as a DXF. So I'm going to come up to the Civil 3D icon, select export and select DXF. 2018. This will make it compatible with Pix4D Cloud and allow us to import the data. Over on Pix4D Cloud, I'm going to click on the design overlays and then add a new overlay. And then the vector design, I'm going to select the DXF. There's the file that I want. And then I will say open and it's going to upload and then it will process. This usually just takes a few minutes. It's not a lot of work. And if we look at this in the 2D space, there it is. We can see this is water, here's the storm, and then the orange here is the sanitary. You can also view this in 3D. So there's the overlay of all the utilities in 3D. So this is like an extra layer of reality that we obviously cannot see. This is all engineering plans. But the objective here is that if we can digitize it and put it into a digital twin, take that digital twin, 
bring it into the real world, then we can find high accuracy position of where we are, relate it to this model, find the utilities that we need in the real world, and actually see them through our phone screen as we walk in the real world. So now that I've uploaded all of this data, let's head back outside and load up this project on Pix4D Catch to see the AR version of the utility plants. All right, so we're back out in the field and I'm gonna show you how we set up Pix4D Catch to do augmented reality in order to see all of those utility lines that we had brought in from CAD. So the first thing we're going to do is connect to our Imlid Reach RX. So I'll just select RTK via Bluetooth. There it is. Everything is there. Same entry credentials. It's as if you're collecting data, but this time you're just going to use it to get your position. So I'll say connect. We're still flow. All right. Our RTK is fixed now. And next to the capture button is a button that has nine dots. So you're going to select that. And all the way at the bottom is Pix4D Cloud AR. This will bring up all of the projects you have saved on Pix4D Cloud. So I'm gonna select our project. And so now it's going to tell me, make sure that you have an RTK connection and that you move around a little bit. And what it's going to do is try to fit the existing conditions that we're in to the digital twin model that is in the cloud. So I'll say, okay, and I'm gonna move around here and you can see it's starting to load. Okay, a point cloud is starting to form, fitting the existing point cloud for our project. This is what we had with the drone and everything is coming in very nicely. And so the best part is now, if I come over here, I just turn off my point cloud, we can see the utility lines that are all over the road. So this is really, really cool. I can actually see in real life now through augmented reality, where all of the utility lines underground are. So let's head over here and take a look at one of the structures. So I know there's a manhole over here. Yep, and as you can see, there's an S, which means this is a sanitary manhole. Now here in Shelby Township, this is actually the name of it, so sanitary. So we know that this is the correct manhole based off of the engineering plans that we reference all of this data from. And without opening it, I can tell that there's a line that runs this way and another line that runs this way. And it looks like there's another manhole right over there. Now we're gonna head over this way and take a look at some of the other utilities that are here. So here in green, I can see the storm lines. And this right here is a catch basin. And just like we had in the utility drawings, there's the catch basin. It also says that there is a line that runs to the other side of the road. So let's walk over to the other side of the road. All right, and if I take a look here, I can see sure enough, there's another catch basin right there based off of that marker. And here is a storm manhole and that matches pretty nicely. And we know where this line goes and I can see where this line connects to the catch basin that goes across the street to where we just were. All right, nice. Let's head down this side over to the new construction and see what other utilities we can see. Walking over here, I see that there is another catch basin and yep, right under this car is the catch basin. So that's pretty accurate, just like the engineering plans. Here in the middle of the road, we have another catch basin here in the middle. I see it's labeled as a manhole. Perhaps the design plans had it as a manhole, but now it was converted to a catch basin. If we head over this way, we can see that this catch basin connects over here to another structure. And I'm just following the CAD lines. And yep, here we go. Here's a catch basin, just like in the design plans. That's so cool that I can actually see my CAD drawing in real life as I'm walking around. And yeah, right over there, I can see it from here. There's a catch basin and there's the drawing. It's referencing it over there. And the nice thing is I can turn the point cloud back on at any time. So let's say I turn the point cloud on and here we go, we're referencing the point cloud in real life. It looks kind of blocky because the point sizes are big, but I can go ahead and just kind of make it more transparent so I can see the structures. So that's pretty cool. Looking over here, I can see, yep, the design was a manhole, but it looks like they put in a uh, catch basin. This is all new concrete here. So maybe this was a manhole and they just recently updated the utility. Nonetheless, I can head over here. I can see that there's some blue line work here. And this is a gay valve and well. So this is a water structure. Now this one's a little beat up, but I can kind of tell, yeah, it says water right there. And yep, the W and the blue line work. We know that these two water manholes are connected to each other and then it sends off over there. So that's pretty cool. And I noticed this one is connected to this structure across the street. And if we take a look, yep, Shelby Township water. So this structure right here matches the design plans. And look how like close it is. Like it's within, I would say a foot, which is pretty incredible. They were able to get this close uh, with our data. Looks like there's another one down there. And yeah, that's pretty nice and pretty neat. And then there's a line that connects all the way down there. So there's probably another structure over there. Let's head down this way and see what else we can see. Like if you look at that over here, we see a water line that comes to this water manhole. So that matches, that's pretty cool. And it looks like under this car, 
is a storm catch basin. And yep, you can see it. It's there. <laughs> I love it. And from that catch and from that catch basin, there's a line that runs up until the middle of the road here. And there is a storm manhole. So if I were to guess, they did replace the other ones and put catch basins, because this concrete is old and there's actually a manhole here still. So if they would ever redo it, I would guess they would probably replace it and put a catch basin, considering there's a catch basin over there. Here's another catch basin, the catch basin down there, another water manhole right here. And here is the new construction. I can turn on the point cloud. So if you look here, there's the point cloud that we captured from yesterday's scan. I've got it in the project, so I can see it visually here. I'll go ahead and turn that off and I can see the utility lines. We got a sanitary manhole. Haven't seen that in a while. It looks like there's a line that shoots all the way down this way and another one that goes that way into the site. We do have a manhole over here. Let me see. Yep, that would be water. That is a water manhole. And yeah, everything goes straight into the site. We could walk around and get a closer look, but overall we can see where all the lines are going. And that's it. That is the new Pix4D Catch app using the Imlin Reach RX for data collection and for augmented reality. Check out my link in the description to pick one up for just $19.99. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out thesurveyschool.com and join our waitlist. And I will see you all next time.